Hero teens Nick Kenneth and Abby De La Rosa took their kids to the church to be dedicated to God, and both Nick Kenneth and their pastor, Pastor Lovie Elias, were put on blast for this dedication. You guys, let's get into all of this. But before that, hey kings and queens, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl royalty back with another celebrity relationship gist. To my returning subscribers, you guys are the re MVP. And if you're new, you're so welcome. Please consider being a part of us by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. Thank you. So, the 43-year-old actor and TV presenter Nick Cannon, you already know he's a father of 12 kids by multiple women, you guys. He has Monroe, Moroccan, Golden, Powerful, Zion, Zillion, Zen, Legendary, Oinks, Rise, Beautiful, and Halo. You guys, I have a video talking about Nick Cannon, his kids, Mariah Carey, and all of that. You can check the card that drops right now to check that out, but right now, Nick Cannon decided to dedicate three of his babies that he had with Abby De La Rosa in church. And the people find it cunning that Nick Cannon is not fit to be in church. Talk more of to dedicate his babies in the house of God. And I'm just wondering like, what? I don't know where they got this idea from. But anyway, Nick Cannon and Abby De La Rosa took their kids to the Revelation Church in California. Nick Cannon, Abby De La Rosa and her family, they were all there to dedicate their babies. And in a post, Abby De La Rosa captioned, Mark 10, 14 says, Let the children come to me, do not hinder them, for they belong to the kingdom of God. Such a true blessing for a family to have Zion, Zillion, and Beautiful dedicated to the Most High. It's our duty and assignment to raise our children up in the way they should go, and when they are older, they will not depart from the Lord. Such an amazing moment in time and space, and as for us in our house, we shall serve the Lord. Thank you at Prophet Lovi, at Magician Soul, that's Prophet Lovi's wife, at Revelation Church, for blessing our family. We will never forget such a beautiful moment. She went on to share more photos from the dedication and she captioned it still in all of this beautiful experience. My heart weeps tears of joy for my children, knowing that they belong to King Jesus, that their steps are already ordered and that they are called to do great things and to be light in the dark world. Nick Cannon also shared the dedication photos on his story as well as the joint post with him and Abby De La Rosa on his post. He shared the dedication photos with the song No Weapon by Kiara shared. Also, the pastor of the church who dedicated them, Prophet Lovi Elia. You all know I have a few videos of him on this channel. He also shared the images on his Instagram page. And then he captioned his post, The best decision parents can make is to give the gift that is our children back to God. Congratulations, Abby De La Rosa and Nick Cannon. And you guys, people came for him. The blast was on for both Nick Cannon and the pastor. I, I think Abby De La Rosa is kind of, you know, not getting the heat as much. But Nick Cannon and the pastor is being put on blast because... He dedicated their kids and because Nick Cannon decided to take his babies to church. First, before we go to the public opinion, like the shade room, let's see some of the comments from the prophet's pope. And the first one says, is he even married to her? What are we really doing and promoting church? And the other person says, what message did you have for that man who went around and got multiple women pregnant and sees nothing wrong with fornicating? I'm not perfect to judge him, but I'm extremely shocked to see him in your presence. I hope he is delivered just like I need to be delivered. Amen. Another person says, 12 kids outside the covenant of marriage. And all you can do is give yourself in church publicity by inviting another celebrity to your church just to film and photograph a fake baby dedication. The salvation of this man should be your only priority. This is why people shouldn't put their trust in false prophets. Whoosh. Another person says, he should be getting that fornication and lost spirit delivered out of him let's be real here another one says so if you dedicate your children back to christ but you don't live a christ life what does that make the child turn out to be hmm. 
and this person say two down 20 to go no but seriously this is good and we as the body of christ must acknowledge and celebrate this another person says this is major for the kingdom he once was a servant of allah but now is being blessed by prophet lovi glory to god yeah yeah those comments came in and you guys uh, i know it's gonna be even more brutal as a shade room let's see what the shade room has so the first comment here on the shade room says i really feel like y'all playing with the church these days because what is this another one says so is this who he is actually with so did they have a conversation before he went to impregnate the baby mama that he lost a baby with that he felt the need to give her another yet they are actually in a relationship like i want to know how all that worked out and then this person say, I think God ordaining this, but congrats. Another person says, SMH, stop showing him there are several black men taking care of their one family in, in the same house to promote. You keep promoting dysfunctional SMH. Another one says, I like how Shade Room always asks the family tree for clarity. And another one say, y'all really open the Bible and pick out the things y'all like. Another one says, LOL, the family tree at the end gets me every time. This comment of, yeah, you are missing the big picture here. They are dedicating their children's life to God. No matter their situation as adults, the children are blessed and surrounded by love. How many of you all did this with your children? I agree. And another commenter says, no, they let a warlock dedicate their babies. And... <laughs> And oh my god, not shade room with your infamous Nikana's family tree. But it is what it is. You guys, well, people are going to talk. People are going to comment. It's quite expected that people are going to put Nikana on blast. And maybe the prophet, Prophet Lovi, for dedicating them. But just like Abby De La Rosa, you know, the scripture she posted on her page, children are meant to be dedicated to God. It is scriptural. It is the right thing to do in a marriage. Even though it's not categorically stated in a marriage, but it's still the right thing to do. Whether or not the parents are married, the kids should be brought back to God. The kids should be dedicated to God. I feel like it's the right thing to do to even prevent those, <laughs> I don't know if I should call it a cause, you know those those sinfulness of the parents those curses sexual sins and immoralities and and the mistakes and errors and lives that their parents had lived to not befall them but it is still important dedicating a child is not all there is to ensuring that the child will live a godly life and a fulfilling life a great life just like abby de la rosa said but the environment that the child is brought up in is also as important let me just address the pastor's role i don't really see why people are putting him on blast if they came to him that they wanted to dedicate their child or their children to god is he supposed to reject them the church is not for perfect people the church is not for saints the church is like a hospital where people that are sick come in so when you go to the hospital you will meet both healthy people healthy nurses healthy doctors and then you will also see sick patients and then you also see patients that are recovering and then you also see patients that are healed well and ready to be discharged that is the perfect example of what the church is like so Nick cannot is sick obviously is sick you all know in this channel i'm not even going to mix words i i do not stand for nick cannon's ways of going about having children fornicating around having children with multiple women that is not the way of god and that's not god's desire for family for a family unit for for growing a family that's not god's plan marriage is an institution that nick has refused to honor since after his marriage with mariah carey anyway i do not see anything wrong for them bringing their children to church and i don't think the pastor is meant to reject them he did the right thing for dedicating them the prophet did the right thing for dedicating them as he shoots to god it doesn't matter their lifestyle hopefully one day god can change their heart and they can fully give their heart to christ from abby de la rosa's post you can tell she probably was brought up in the way of god but then sometimes children can grow up and decide to go their own path but it's important to bring them in the way of god and the bible said when they are old 
they will not depart and i think she's trying to do the same for her kids from her post from her caption you can tell she has a little bit knowledge of how things should be and how things should go in terms of the ways of god who knows maybe she's reconciling herself with god just like we saw with black china yes maybe she did things wrong in the past even with recently having the baby beautiful but that doesn't mean it is over for her she can amend her ways with god and the same goes for nick cannon like the commenter who says 12 kids outside the covenant of marriage and you all can do is give yourself in church publicity the commenter was talking about the pastor inviting them that is not a fact we do not know if the pastor invited them probably they came and he accepted to do it and maybe he could create an avenue for him to mentor Nicanon or even to just pastor him and talk to him and maybe one day he can fully give himself and his heart to Christ someone said he is a Muslim and uh, now he's bringing his kids to church that is a step in a good direction so for that alone I do not think that the pastor the prophet should be put on blast he's doing what he's supposed to do dedicating the kids to God the kids do not have to pay for the sins of their parents they have their own life and their own future and that future needs to be committed into God let me take some of the comments that you know counter the negative comments like this one says the fact that these celebrities are bringing their children to be dedicated is huge doesn't make prophet force we are meant to go to the world another one says Okay, I'll read just this one long comment. It says, in all your rage and zeal, referring to a commenter accusing the pastor of being fake and the dedication being fake. She says, in all your rage and zeal to be a judge of this situation you know nothing about, but only see a few photographs of. You made so many assumptions that you have no proof of. Who said Prophet Lovi invited a celebrity to dedicate their child at his church? How do you know what he said to him and his baby's mother before or after praying for their child as it pertains to their work with God in raising this child? What makes this baby dedication fake? So because of parents you deem to be far from God chooses to dedicate their child to God, therefore the dedication itself is fake. Do you know if Nick did or did not give his life to Christ before or at this moment? Do you know if God will use this moment here and any other moment in this child's life to bring this man to the Lord Jesus Christ? Do you even know what a baby dedication is for? What it means? You are foaming at the mouth, angry and taking on the road to speak for God that you are spewing venom all over. May God have mercy on you even as you show no mercy to this precious baby and condemning them because of a parent's relationship with God which you know nothing about. Absolutely, this commentary really summed it all up. And then this reminds me of the book of Job, really from chapter 19 to about 29, when Job's friends and some of the leaders in church were speaking for God and deciding that Job must have done something wrong for his predicament. They literally accused him, they forced him to confess, and the man stood still to say he has done nothing wrong and that he was righteous you know so sometimes we try to speak for God and like oh God is not happy with this situation you know the story of Job was a really humbling one when I read that book recently and it was just like sometimes we're, we're just speaking for God we think oh yes we're speaking for him you need to go read that chapter 27 28 you can see the argument back and forth and at the end of the day God spoke for himself so we should not be quick to judge people this is a situation where you call judge. You know, there are some times where you state an obvious fact, something that is wrong and ill and sick, you know, happening in the church. And people will say, don't judge, don't judge. This is not that situation. But this here, right here, speaking ill of a man and a woman for dedicating their children to God, that is definitely judging. That is definitely taking the place of God to do that. And yeah, I don't think that is all right. But Yes, Nick Cannon and Abby De La Rosa dedicated all three of their children to church. I do not know if he will be doing the same with the other of his babies. Hopefully, he doesn't add any more kids. Recently, in an interview, he was asked about a 13th child, and, and he said he doesn't think he's heading in that direction. Obviously, I hope he doesn't, you know. But, well, 
But yeah, it is what it is. What are your thoughts, you guys, on the canon dedicating his babies in church at the Revelation Church and on the prophet, Prophet Lovi, dedicating the children? Do you all think he shouldn't have done that because he's not righteous, because he's a sinner, because he's a fornicator, because he has several other babies with other women, so he's not supposed to dedicate his children in church? I'd like to hear your thoughts, you guys, concerning this story. You all know I love to hear your opinion and we can continue this conversation in the comment section as always thank you so much you guys for watching if you got to this point of the video do not forget to like share subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and until the next one remember to pray work out work smart and